the game is heating up. Bing has introduced AI based search, conversational search on Microsoft Bing. This comes just immediately within a couple of days after Google announced that they are introducing something called Bard, Bard AI, which is their conversational agent. There have been rumors about Bing integrating ChatGPT kind of solution within search. And there have been a lot of videos, a lot of articles, a lot of discussions about whether ChatGPT can replace Google. But today we are actually going to witness that there is a possibility that this conversational AI inside a search engine might make sense. I'm still not sure who is going to use it, how far we are going to use it. Will we actually desert Google um, because we have found Bing with ChatGPT quite good? I don't know the answers to this thing. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can access Microsoft Bing. Uh, which is still a waiting list and also some examples that Microsoft has put together for us. First of all, when you go to bing.com, you would see this new thing saying, ask me anything. Well, that's quite clever. You can ask anything, but the moment you ask, okay, give me dinner ideas. It doesn't do anything because it has not been enabled for all of us. Why? That's where when you go click here, learn more, you will see that you can join the waiting list. Once you click that, you would see that join the waiting list. I've already clicked that and then it says that I'm on waiting list, but you can click that button, particular button and then join the waiting list, which you should do before you can get access. Also, it's the same usual Microsoft thing that it says that access the new Bing even faster. What you can do certain things and then you can, you can, you know, get ahead in the waiting list. This has been always a Microsoft thing to always push their product. Like I, I'm quite surprised that they are ready to use this opportunity even to do that. Um, I'm quite surprised. That's that's a very simple comment that they are trying to make users Microsoft converts or use for that. But having said that, how impressive this is, we cannot check it unless like we have certain examples that Microsoft has given us. What are the examples? It says, um, you can see certain examples, click learn more. Once you scroll down, you can see certain things that you can ask. What kind of things you can ask? You can ask a short question or a long question, anything in between. Okay, that's quite clever. So what kind of questions you can ask? You can ask about having a meal plan or, you know, like people are coming over to your house and you want some help. You can have um, trips planned for, from using Bing. You can have ideas about what can you do with your kid? If you have got certain items, how to get fit, can you write a poem? Like one of the things that I was quite impressed with ChatGPT is writing poem. So it can write poem for you. Fishing trip, write a small story, like coding help, need a fast car, music festival, all these things. Now, where does it become interesting? It becomes interesting in the FAQ section. Like we can, we can see certain examples definitely, but it becomes interesting in the FAQ section. Why? First of all, it says, how does the Bing generate new responses? It says it, re it searches for the, content on the web and then it summarizes and then it gives you this is what it does what i found it surprising is that it doesn't it doesn't mention chat gpt anywhere so that's that's quite that was quite surprising for me because um um wh why would they not do it maybe it's not chat gpt maybe it's their own model i have no clue but looks like they have not in i, I just looked looked everywhere it doesn't look like um uh, they are mentioning chat GPT anywhere. Rather, what they're actually saying is that we are working with our partner OpenAI to deliver an experience that encourages responsible use. So it's, it, it confirms that it is still OpenAI's model, but they didn't mention chat GPT or GPT-3 anywhere. So now they have certain more things. One other thing that actually caught my eye is that are Bing's AI generated responses factual? That's a very clever question. And for that, the answer is Bing aims to base all its responses on reliable sources. Cool. But AI can make mistakes and third party content on the internet may not be accurate. Again, this is, this is a very, very interesting approach. Like I'm, I, I think Microsoft, um, has, um, stood up and decided to take an action while Google is still evaluating how they should deploy this and then making it scalable. So kudos to Microsoft for that. Now let's get to the questions in itself. I was, I was quite interested. I was quite surprised and uh, happy the way they are doing it. For example, if I go with this, what art ideas can I do with my kid? Like arts and crafts ideas with instructions for a toddler using only cardboard boxes, plastic bottles, paper and string. Click try it on Bing. It's going to actually look for it. And then this is where you have got this, um, the sidebar. This is where you have got the Bing chat, whatever it is called, the new logo. It says, I found something. And then it gives you the instruction and it also gives you citation. 
One of the things that a lot of people have been telling about ChatGPT or why ChatGPT is not a good solution is it doesn't give you citation, it just gives you the summary. And that's good, like summary is good for a lot of things, but sometimes you need citation to go back and then refer if it is true. And that is where this is quite good. Like you can see the citation here. We've got here the link, the link, and then you have got the number that gives you the citation that helps you go to that particular article. And this is good. This is good. I think this is probably a good approach in terms of one. If you are a content creator, if you have got a blog, then you can still get traffic from these search engines. Second, you you like if you're a consumer, you have more trustworthy links that you can start believing in it. So this is how the result looks like. And you can ask more follow up questions. You can click let's chat. Uh, so it says chat mode is right now available only for the new Bing. Uh, what is the new Bing? New Bing is where they are expecting to have this thing. So that chat mode is like you can ask a question and from that question it will give you something then you can ask another question. So this is called this is what they're calling the new Bing. So chat mode is currently available only for the new Bing for which I told you to join the waiting list. But otherwise um, you can you can look at the examples here and the examples are quite good. Like write a poem here, so it writes a poem. And because this is all predefined questions and answer, any, any small change that you make will not work fine. So it has written a poem. And this is quite a very chat GPT -ish poem. You can, you can actually see the poem and then you can say that it's actually been written by chat GPT. And if you change anything, like for example, uh, write a poem for my, let's say nine year old, uh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work because they have got certain templated queries and for which they have already came up with the answer. And you can see another example, but unless until you get the new Bing, you cannot access this uh, for any question that you want and um, you can check all the other questions so overall it's quite impressive first of all for the fact that microsoft decided to put it out and show some examples and shows the ui how it is going to look like while google is still figuring it out so one point for microsoft for the boldness second thing is um i am quite uh, looking forward to see this new competition between microsoft and google google has been an unbeaten king for quite a while and it looks like finally Microsoft has got something especially because everybody is interested in chat GPT looks like people might try it out so let's see how this competition is going to pay out but ultimately as a consumer I'm quite happy that we have a healthy competition in the AI world um, so that's that's good for me so again if you want to gain access all you have to do is go to bing.com and then click learn more and once you go there you will see a button join the waiting list click the button join the waiting list that will add you to the waiting list. After, if you are a Microsoft user, you can you can do these few tricks that Microsoft has given you to gain the access faster. But again, I'm really looking forward to the new Bing so that I can compare the new Bing with Microsoft, sorry, uh, ChatGPT's raw responses and Google Bard to see how this search engine powered by AI chat or conversational agent works out. So see you in the next video. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Happy prompting.